Jesus left the upper room where he had eaten the Last Supper and went, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples followed him. And when he came to the place, he said to them, Pray that you may not enter into temptation. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us. And he withdrew from them about a stone's throw, and knelt down and prayed, Father, if thou art willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine be done. And when he rose from prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping for sorrow. And he said to them, Why do you sleep? Rise and pray that you may not enter into temptation. Still speaking, there came a crowd, and the man called Judas, one of the twelve, was leading them. He drew near to Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, would you betray the Son of Man with a kiss? Judas said, Hail, Master. When the disciples saw struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, no more of this. And he touched his ear and healed him. Jesus said to those who had come out against him, when I was with you day after day in the temple, you did not lay hands on me, but this is your hour and the power of darkness. Then they seized him. Then they seized him and led him away, bringing him to the high priest's house. Peter followed at a distance. And when they had kindled a fire in the middle of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them. But Peter denied it, saying, Woman, I do not know him. And the Jews, some of us saw him and said, You also are one of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. And now Peter, another Jesus is saying, Certainly this man also was with him, for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are saying. And immediately while he was still speaking, the cock crowed, and the Lord turned and looked at Peter. And Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, before the cock crows today, you will deny me three times. And he went out and he wept bitterly. Now the men who were holding Jesus mocked him and beat him. They blindfolded him and demanded, who is it and they spoke many other words against him, reviling him. When the day came, the assembly of the elders of the people gathered together and led him to their council. And they said, If you are Christ, tell us, 
But he said to them, If I tell you, you will not believe. And if I ask you now, you will not answer. But from now on, the Son of Man shall be seated at the right hand of the power of God. And they said, Are you the Son of God then? He said to them, You say that I am. And they said, Then when the whole company of them arose and brought him before Pontius Pilate, and they began to curse him, saying, And Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered them, You have said so. And Pilate said to the chief priests and to the multitudes, I find no crime in this man. But they were urgent, saying, He serves the people, teaching throughout Galilee, even to his place. And when Pilate heard that he was a Galilean of Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him to Herod. Where he was vehemently accused and treated with contempt and mocked and arrayed in gorgeous purple, and then sent back again. Pilate said to the rulers of the people, You brought me this man as one who was perverting the people. And after examining him, behold, I did not find him guilty of any of the charges against him. Behold, nothing deserving death has been done by him. I will therefore chastise him and release him. But they all cried out, Away with this man! Away! Barabbas to us. Barabbas. Barabbas. Barabbas, a man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and for murder. Pilate addressed them once more, desiring to release Jesus, but they shouted out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Why? What evil has he done? I found no crime in him deserving death. I'll chastise him and release him. But they shouted again. And their voices prevailed. So Pilate delivered the sentence they demanded. He released the man who had been jailed for murder, but Jesus he delivered up to their will. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughter of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren, and the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never gave suck. For if they do this when the wood is green, what will happen when it dries? Were you there when they 
crucified, my Lord. Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Two others who were criminals were led away to be put to death with him. And when they came to the place which is called the skull, there they crucified him and the criminals, one on the right and one on the left. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Forgive us our trespasses, and they cast us to divide us from us. Forgive us our trespasses, and the people who are not watching, but the rulers stopped at him, saying, He saved others, and let him save himself, if he is the Christ of God. So there is also a coming up and offering him a There was an inscription over him, This is the King of the Jews. Forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us, O Lord, our trespasses. One of the criminals who were hanged there with him railed at him, saying, Are you the Christ? Save yourself and us. But the other rebuked him, saying, do you not fear God, since you are under the same sentence, and we justly? But this man has done nothing wrong. And he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Forgive us our trespasses, deliver us from evil, the highest in kingdom. And Jesus said to him, And the power. Truly, truly, I say to you, And the glory. Today you will be with me in paradise. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Were you there when he cried out at the end? Were you there when he cried out at the end? It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, while the sun's light failed, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two, from the top to the bottom. Then Jesus, crying out in a loud voice, said, Father, into thy hand I commend my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Were you there when 
was a man named Joseph from the town of Arimathea, a good man, a righteous man, one looking for the kingdom of God. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then he took him down and wrapped him in a linen shroud and laid him in a rock-hewn tomb where no one had ever been laid. It was the day of preparation and the Sabbath was beginning. On the Sabbath, they rested, according to the commandment. 